it's become an almost daily parade of, well... I don't give a Let's just be kind and refer to them as extremely bad moments, all caught on camera. No one wants Black Lives Matter here, that's what I said. Have you begun to wonder what's happening here? Has the stress of a pandemic made this more widespread? I think it's just the fact that we've got cameras everywhere. Think before you speak. My mom told me that a long time ago. Think before you speak. Reporter Stanley Roberts has made a franchise of catching people in the act of behaving badly. And Dr. Thomas Plant at Santa Clara University has the psychological credentials to analyze them. Only now, the presumption of privacy is long gone. So we had to ask, why do people dig themselves in deeper knowing there are cameras recording every move? and every word. It's really hard for a lot of people, once they get launched, to dial it back, take a deep breath, and say, hold it here. They, they are trying to defend their position, but it just gets them in a, a, a they dig a deeper hole. I'm being threatened by a man into the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. Especially with the internet, where rightly or wrongly, we see these people publicly pilloried and vilified. Asian piece of you all it is human nature that when some of us see these videos, we may feel more virtuous ourselves. There's no due process anymore. It's just mob mentality. And all from a few recorded moments that will live online forever. Do these displays serve a purpose, especially in fighting racism? This is a way to get out stuff that we knew was going on, but we couldn't prove it. So there you have it. If George Orwell was still alive, he'd probably say he warned us. Welcome to the 21st century with cameras all around. You'd better be ready for your close-up.